Hey everyone, in the news this week, Nicola Sturgeon passed her driving test, which will come in useful now that she's no longer in power and thus can't employ somebody else to drive that motorhome around. She passed first time apparently, although she wouldn't say what score she got and she didn't say how many minors she received. Coincidentally, the same answer that Prince Andrew's office gave to a different question. And a man died after setting fire to himself outside the Liverpool branch of McDonald's. In a tragic twist, the staff could have extinguished the fire, but the McFlurry machine had broken down again. In Palestine news, it was Jeremy Corbyn's turn to spout off about the conflict this week, saying the cause will never go away, conveniently forgetting that it absolutely will, for better or worse, if the Israeli army uses as much force as they're threatening. You know, it's really quite strange that Labour is seemingly more certain about the position about joining Hamas than they are the EU. This week, though, we saw a bit of a pause in the fighting as American hostages were released and a number of lorries were allowed in with much needed supplies, such as food and water and rockets. I joke about there was actually a story about how Hamas had constructed thousands of rockets made from pipes donated by the EU, who naively bought into a story that they'd be used as part of a water sanitation project and absolutely not for making weapons. Ugh, let's lighten the mood. Apparently the band Dire Straits are looking for an agent to represent them on their tour of the Middle East. They should check out Qatar George, he knows all the Kurds. There is still also that other war in Ukraine though, which this week saw a strange turn of events after a rumour that Vladimir Putin had died of a heart attack and that yet another coup was underway. This was all swiftly denied and we can presumably assume that it was one of his many body doubles that had collapsed. You know, it's a strange rabbit hole to go down if you start looking up videos of Vladimir Putin's body doubles. There was a very similar story about North Korea until the country ran out of enough food to keep multiple Kim Jong-uns topped up. The Ukraine setup is all rather strange, though there's very few definitive sources of truth about what's actually going on out there and who's winning. Especially when you see the photos of local militias sporting Nazi symbology and there's talk of Ukraine receiving lots of high-tech equipment, yet seemingly not being able to do much with it. There's also a fairly shocking interview this week where it emerged that the government's been rounding up priests and bishops and throwing them all in jail on the off chance that they're working for the Kremlin. Wait a minute, blaming Russia for everything? I can kind of see why Hillary Clinton likes that Zelensky guy. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.